Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World. Today I'm going to be showing you a few options for hooking trailers to forage harvesters. Now this is a question that comes up frequently. New players especially have a hard time with this. I know I did when I first started playing. It was very frustrating because forage harvesters have a pin hitch on the back but nothing seems to hook up to them. However, there are some options and one of them is is kind of a hidden option and it's only hidden because people don't generally think about it and that option is the Ra Randon sugarcane trailer and you can see that does hook up if we if we put our pipe out you can see it aims right at the sugarcane trailer and it will stay aimed at that trailer because it knows that's where it wants to put the chaff that's going to come off of our cornfield here. I'm just going to do very, very quick harvest of this, and you can see it's laser beaming that chaff right into that trailer. So that's the Randon Sugarcane Trailer. If you go to your store menu, you look at, nope, not trailers, Sugarcane Technology. Now there are two of these. There's one that is a semi-trailer. You want the one that has the pin hitch on the front. It's the $92,000 option, but that will in fact hold chaff. Now there is one minor drawback, and it's not even a drawback. Um, this trailer doesn't tip like other trailers. It only tips to the side because it is a sugarcane trailer, so when you dump it you need to dump it like such. can make it a little bit challenging to get into bunker silos, but as long as they're open-ended, it's not too bad. When you have closed bunker silos, like square, partially closed on one end, um, that can be a little bit difficult. But nothing we can't get over. So that's the Randon Sugar Cane trailer. Now, the next option is and I wasn't going to look at anything under 40,000 liters because if you've done any forage harvesting you know exactly how fast the chaff fills up. But, I'm going to go back into our store, for standard trailers the AgroLiner HKD302 will function with a forage harvester and you can daisy chain these things. I've got two and I already filled the front one with chaff because I just want to show that the rear trailer will will accept chaff. The, the uh, forage harvester is powerful enough to shoot chaff all the way back to that rear trailer. And just another quick demo here. No problem. You can see now I haven't tried this with more than two. Obviously you can chain these as long as you have the power to pull them. But that's the AgroLiner HKD302. So, and that'll hold 42,000. So that still meets my qualification of anything over 40,000. So between these two little trailers, you can get 42,000 liters in there. And these are standard tippers, so no unusual tipping. Now, those are our vanilla options. That's base game. You can do this the minute you take the game out of the box. Now I'm going to go look at mods. One mod in particular, this will solve some problems with uh, trailer hookups also. Now this is the Flegel Dolly by Chris Jo, K-R-I-S-J-O. And this dolly is a semi-trailer dolly and it will attach to the back of a forage harvest or yeah to a, it will attach to the back of a forage harvester if you can actually say that three times fast <laughs> so with our nice little semi dolly we can start hooking up to the big semi trailers this is a vanilla game semi trailer and i will show you it's the Crampy KS90 or KS950. 
and once that's hooked up it'll pull it just fine we can open our pipe and you can see the pipe is targeting the trailer again and just another very quick harvest and boom no problem that's not what I want to do I wanted to drop the trailer there we go so that is the Flegal Dolly. Oh, I guess I should have turned off the harvester when I swung around there. Come on, Harv. Get it together. Strange. This is behaving oddly for some reason all of a sudden. Like the header won't turn off. Well, anyway, so with this dolly you can hook up to any semi-trailer. In fact, the Wilson right here, we can pick that trailer and hook up to that also. You'd think I could do this, I used to do it for a living. So when I, we can hook up to this Wilson trailer, we're going to swing around here, we're going to try to do some harvesting again. Is it going to work for us? No, it does not work for us. So just because we can pull this trailer doesn't mean it works for us, and I'm going to show you why. When you are looking at trailers to use with this dolly, you need to take into consider consideration what these trailers can haul. The Wilson Pace Setter only hauls grain and fertilizer and seed. Unlike the Crampy, which will haul anything the Wilson has limitations, so keep that in mind. Now, with that said, oh, I don't need this dolly anymore. I'm just going to leave it right there. The head on this is behaving very strangely for some reason. One trailer that I've come across in my own play that I know works with forage harvesters is the Bergman HTW4550. Now that's also a mod, but it will hook up and we can target it. And you can already see it's dumping the chaff that it had stored. But if we start harvesting right there, Boom, no problem. It will work with no problems whatsoever. So there are some options right there to get over your Forge Harvester trailer woes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to try to answer them for you. Um, I'm sure there are a great many more options out there. I just wanted to provide you with a few quick ones so that you could get back to your game and start playing. Um, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, take care.